All right, you clicked on this video because you saw the title and you realize we're gonna talk about holsters. This is my take, my take on holsters that I've used for the P365. We've got full Kydex versions here and we've got kind of a hybrid solution, hybrid modular solution here, um, as well as the ever hated belly bands. Um, so stay tuned, we're going to talk about those, why I have those, what I've done to them, what mods I've done, what I like, what I don't like, but we're going to try to make this short and to the point. So first off, the full Kydex. This is a tier 1 axle slim to get the still be able to get that kind of movement because your body moves when you walk. I like that idea and the concept of the, of the tier 1. I went with a white back so that way I can easily see in there if there's something blocking. some some pictures of the four went down probably on another the axis um, half inch I did cut this down an inch and they were pretty pointy I found that when when riding those in the appendix position they would dig in so I was like well that's just a terrible design that's just something you know they obviously are making a ton of holsters every day for a ton of different pistols for a ton of different body types you're not gonna find one holster that works with every body type and everybody's preferences. Um, and I did I did take out one of the screws holding the uh, belt loops here. Um, I feel like I the putting just the one with a little Loctite is, is sufficient. At the same time, it gives you some, some flex. Not that you want the holster moving when you're carrying it, but you want it to move with your body as it moves. So yeah, I like it. I didn't like that the magazine portion of it there's no, there's no click, it's in, and it's just kind of a generic one-size-fits-all small magazines kind of, kind of fit. Because I'm always kind of double-checking that it's, it's in there, but it doesn't fall out, so no complaints on, on that, no complaints on the function. You do have adjustment and the claw. So th things I looked for was the claw, the ability for it to move while I'm, while I'm carrying it. I wanted a, a, a sidecar, a little extra a mag with me. But that is the Axle Slim. Um, if you have any specific questions about it, drop a comment. I'll, I'll reply to that. And if I can talk more about it, I want to move on to a Saro holster. Alright, the hybrid solution we have here. It's a new company making some great modular hybrid holsters. Um, let's, so let's just, just check that out. It is got the Kydex front here, as you can see. Sorry, I'm black on black here, but you got the Kydex front with kind of a a really nice padding on the back. And there's the back view. You do have some holes for venting, and there is a rigid structure in here, so that this isn't just kind of willy nilly falling over on you. It has some give, but it also has some kind of rigid rigid structure inside of it um, and so you can kind of hear that that's that's the velcro that's what's making this modular so before we get to that the clips something new that people haven't seen if you saw them at shot show this year um, they're freaking rigid dude they're not they're not they're they're there I, I have no complaints with them the velcro modular you can adjust your angle you can adjust your ride height and one thing that you can see from their website with a link down in the description, they talk about the cant built in. So I said earlier I was looking, I'm always looking for something with the claw and something that it's going to kind of move when I move. Not move, but um, flex when I'm moving. And so what they did here, and I didn't quite understand this when I first checked out their website, but what they did here is, I don't know how to best show that. So right there, I'm going to point this right at you, right there, the gun, if the holster is straight up and down, the gun already is at that angle bringing the handle into your body. So it already has the, it already has the claw kind of built in to the kydex part of the holster. I didn't quite understand that when I was reading the website. When I got it and I put it on, I realized, oh yeah, that's already doing what the claw does. So one other thing about the modularity of this guy. So they do, they do ship it with, whoop. 
some extra Velcro that has adhesive on the back. You want to slap that on your on your vehicle, on inside of a backpack, anywhere, and that's just generally wherever you want. I'm I'm in, currently in the process of making a few other spots that I'm going to mount this where you can be innovative, do whatever you want with it, buy more hold, more vel more hook and loop. And, and and do whatever you want with it. Have it in multiple spots without having to have a totally different holster. That's what I love about this. So, real quick, I'm always in a different spot. I'm never putting my gun in the exact same, always carrying it a appendix. When I'm in the car, on a long trip, I, I've got it somewhere in the car. Um, do I need a different holster for that? Most of the time, yes. If I'm asleep, it's in the nightstand. Do I have a different holster? Sometimes, if it's if it's something like this, you can do that. You can put some Velcro wherever you want and do that. You, your, your imagination is the limit, guys. Um, one other thing that I ended up doing with this is I took the belly band elastic in Velcro, and I just use that when I'm running, when I'm working out. So that strap. At first I thought I was just going to Velcro this to a, a strap, but this, the straps just aren't, you know, it's not as comfortable as this backing on here. And so what I did was I left this together and then I ran a strap through that. I ran the those that belly band strap through it, but I didn't holster it. I holstered it in here so I don't have the belly band problem of pulling the trigger. The trigger cannot be pulled. So kind of solved all of my problems with the belly band. And this is uber comfortable against your skin when you're doing um, workouts or, or running or, or anything like that. Sure you can do the same thing with this. You can run a, a belly band and clip that onto the belly band. I mean, but this one because of the comfort of the, the hybrid, it was way better. I'm not putting Kydex against my body while working out. Asaro Holster Works. Check them out. Link in the description. Um, they have them for the P365, for the Glocks. And I think they're just coming out with new stuff as, as, they, as they ramp up. But if you have any other ideas on where you would put this, how would you would use a modular holster, do drop them in the comments. I'd love to see it. Freaking coming up with ideas every day. Just... Whether you want to carry this at the 4 o'clock, the appendix, they do have some sidecar options. Hopefully, I'll be getting one of those to where I can kind of kind of just adjust this over a little bit and put a, a sidecar right there. That'll be excellent. Um, yeah, drop some comments. I don't want to make this video too long. So far, I'm loving this. I'm loving it's the the most comfortable appendix holster I've ever used. I have just really loving this guy right now. And one of the things, so I'll be getting a, doing a Glock build pretty soon, and I'll just be able to use the same backing. All I've got to do is get the new Kydex that fits a Glock, or maybe I I carry one day, I carry in the mornings days without a light, and at night I want a light, so I could order one with a without a light, and one with a light, and just. Don't have to pay extra for the entire entire holster. You're just getting the Kydex. Check them out. They're made in the USA. Um, love what they're doing. I love seeing different different ideas on the holster. There's so many holster makers out there. Typically, I just stick with someone local. Um, but this was my solution to all my problems, whether um, carrying off body. So this Velcro actually works in my backpack. I have the, you've seen some of my other videos on some of the um, VanQuest packs that I have. I EDC that VanQuest pack and this just Velcros right in the back in the conceal pocket. So don't have to buy another holster. All right, this is the Masaro holster while being worn. So this is the crotch shot. Boom, now that you know where it is, It seals pretty good. One thing I wanted to note, the pants that I'm wearing have 
belt loops in different spots every time. So if you're wearing the same brand, you're fine. But if you wear different brands of, of jeans or pants like I do, um, getting this in the right spot, in the same spot every time, for most holsters is a problem because it I, I'd have to shift it over to avoid a belt loop or shift it over to avoid a belt loop, a different pair. And so with the Masaro, you're able to just slightly adjust it. And so I'm going to show you how I how you can adjust this while wearing it. And at the same point, before that, I want to kind of debunk the whole it's Velcro and it's not going to be it's not going to stay in the right in the spot that you set it. When you add the belt over top, you're sandwiching that Velcro to the the holster backing into your body. So you're it's not going to just over a period uh, slide down or adjust. It, there's no movement unless you intentionally want to move it. So I put my hand back behind it, and then I gotta kind of get kind of gotta keep my hand there or keep it from touching. And then so depending on if the belt loop is in a different spot, I can still get this where I want to get it, or I can adjust the the ride height or angle depending on what I want to do. So completely adjustable, more so than really any holster out there. In my opinion, it's on par with the modularity of the Alien Gear holsters, yet the Alien Gear holsters add so much bulk and it can ride anywhere I want it to ride, high, low. If that's a little bit, little bit low, if I want to get a full grip, easily adjustable, so. Once again, so that's my holsters right there, guys. Um, Got some more videos coming up. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, and check out the links. Thanks, guys.